okay so this is a tutorial for um processing your 2d data files your your receivability data and your ip data using the earth image software all right we have done with uh, with 2d inversion so we are going to see how it is done on earth image now okay your d80 files so we just open this is our let me open it again this is our earth image 2d this is our earth image 2d so we open it so this is your earth image we go over to read data when you read data these are folder where we save our dot files remember we have thought of, talked about how to create these date files from your excel so uh, this is a format we use on the cd version so you click and then um, it shows you the number of maximum apparent receivability remember this is a combination of apparent receipt data and ip data it shows you the number of data below the minimum apparent facility you know and all that so but there's a setting i gave to this um program at this moment where it removes all negative ips so you see number of ip below minimum ip seven number of ip uh, over maximum ip is two so we're going to to correct these two data so that it will be zero zero and then number of negative IP we are going to leave it. So I want to remove all the negative IPs and focus on the positive. Okay, so this is where we go to we go to settings. Uh, before we go to settings, you just have to know that uh, okay I'll get to explain some of this things later. You just go to settings and uh, click on initial setting initial settings comes with every other setting that you sit down on the uh, drop down on the settings uh, menu button so you see initial setting forward with module name receivability version so let's go to that ip and you see i removed all negative ips so and my minimum tradability is this so what I'm interested in is maximum chargeability. I need my chargeability to be higher. Let's say 1000. Let's say 1000 so that all my chargeability will be included. So, but the minimum, you can leave minimum chargeability as zero as we have removed all the negative IPs. So, let's just say zero. Alright, so if you don't want to run your IP version, you remove your IP version here. So if every other settings is the way they are. Receive team version, you can increase your iteration number a bit. It will only run three iteration because this is a demo version of this software. So you can do some on settings, but I will advise you to leave it at the default setting. Apply and say OK. So this button here is your start inversion. You can also see it here, start inversion click on start version is it reminds you that the two data points of all the data points that you are collected if you see this point these dots now are all your data points these dots you are seeing on this on this session so the two of them have been removed out of 92 measurements so because of that negative IPs that we removed so just say okay now it runs in version a high High chargeability shows where you can, where you suspect or where we expected to see um, metallic ores, you know. And you see in that same area, we are having a low receptivity. Metals have low receptivity, and uh, see. So here now we are having what could be suspected to be groundwater or something. And but then it's showing us a relatively high IP. So this could be a you know a conductive body, a conductive body that may contain some dispersed minerals. So this could be a conductive body. 
then what about a place that has high chargeability that has high receivity but low ip it has a low ip so if something is metallic it should have a high ip okay and then it is showing us a high receivability so this could be a, a, a you know an inclusion you know an igneous infusion something that it has no it has no um, uh, metallic ores in it so is high is high showing a high receivity and here is is giving us a low chargeability showing that there's no metallic ore in it so that's basically how to interpret a this station and then um, all right so other functions include adding contours adding you can add contours for for each of them you can add contours but that's not necessary you can add contours for this is the one to highlight and apply not save in the okay you can have that in the demo version so let's forget it contours is just to put lines at the edges of each color you just put the lines there so you can add your grid point and that's the basic thing here so the next thing i want us to do is um um you save you can't save because the demo version so this is how we save it we use open sniping tools sniping tools this sniping tools all right is already opened here open sniping tools um i sniped something earlier so let me close let me open the sniping tool again sniping tool okay so open sniping tool let me um let me pin it to the taskbar so i don't have to go back to the menu again so open sniping to click select new and crop out your picture and see the two ones you want to save it so you can save it you can save it in a folder um go to your desktop open a folder um open a folder let's call it um tutorial sniping to window so next thing i'm going to do is to save it as stg i'm going to show you the importance of this stg so save it as stg save it open the desktop go back to that folder we just created so once save everything in one folder uh tutorial it's imager so save it as stg okay save so it's saved now um one more thing I want us to see here is um, um, okay. Basically, this is what I want us to know here. You can you practice every right here, and uh, okay, here yeah, under the view, under the view, okay, under the view, you can uh, view your IP, the the raw IP data. This is the raw IP data. You can. You can screenshot it just the way you did the main uh, the combination of the remember what we screenshotted was the what we screenshotted here in that sniping tool is this is a received signal section and this is an inverted IP signal section. Okay, that's what I screenshotted earlier and saved as picture. So, but if you want to from this view. You can view just the receivability raw data, which is this, and screenshot if you need it. You can uh, get the inverter receivability session alone, which is what we only have here. Remember, 
look at it at the top look at it here look at it so this is it okay so um close you can also view your inverter conductivity so conductivity is the opposite of receivity okay so you can invert this is just an inversion so you invert it to get conductivity so you can have this new session and your inverted rest session so here is everything here is basically about your receivity so this is your measured data let's just measure apparent receivity system and then you calculate the second and then this is the one we use the last the this last one which is what you can also see here that's the most important thing okay that's your model this is your 2d model using all right so um you can also do the same thing for your ip via ip in inverted session blah, blah, and so this is what we screenshotted the combination of ip and your um, of receipt and your ip so which is what you normally use in our um research work okay so this is to remove your electric symbols it's important to leave it so this to change your units and this is to um, increase your color codes so that's that so let's remember to save as stg so the next thing you are going to do is i'm going to i'm going to show you how to convert uh 2d data 